Hi everyone, so it's just a quick vlog today and the main reason why is because I'm so excited because something arrived in the mail today and it's this very nice package and I actually bought this off of um, Foodie Japan. Like, you know, I've been wanting to buy a brush from this brand but unfortunately um, they do not ship um, internationally and the brand is called Number 8 so it's a Kumano Fuda brand and um, I actually discovered them when I went to um, the brush festival um, back in 2018 and um, what caught my attention with that um, brand is actually their Yachio brush so I have here a number of Yachio brushes so let's unbox them together all right so my package arrived like this and I think there's a box inside, so that's great. So let's open it up together. Let's see if I could open it up like this. Oh, he gave me a chips. How cool is that? I love these things. Thank you, Toshi. Okay, so... Wow, I'm so impressed on how this order was packaged. So I can actually just slip it out of the cardboard packaging like this. <gasps> oh, it doesn't come with a box actually, but it has this protective plastic case. Look at that. So yeah, so this is from number eight. And I have here five pieces of Yachio brushes. So the reason why I bought five Yachio brushes from um, number eight is because um, when Toshi and I were actually um, communicating, he said that if I bought five brushes, um, number eight is gonna give uh, the, the domestic shipping for free. And when he said that, although I only wanted four actually because I'm actually planning to give out these brushes to um, my patrons or like, you know, the actresses and the TV hosts who I've been working with for years. And um, I think it's just a very nice symbolism about like, you know, my gratitude to them and my passion for brushes. And, you know, Yachio brushes is a, actually a very great symbol of like, you know, Japanese culture, Japanese art, and also of um, the appreciation of makeup. Now, um, the thing is, if you are ordering a brush from Fuji Japan or through Toshiya, um, if um, based on what I understand is that if you do not buy um, brushes from like you know top brands like you know Hakodo, Koyudo, Mizu, yada yada um, all of the information that you need is actually stated on the website so you can go and check it out there but if it's from a different brand an unknown brand he will actually add on a 1.3% service fee which is not so bad which I actually truly appreciate and number eight as I've said earlier is a very niche Kumano Fude brand and I'm just so glad that I was able to get this brush because um, I do remember when I first um, bumped into them at the Fude Matsuri in 2019 I only bought um, one Yachio brush and after I left um, the festival I was actually kicking myself because I should have bought more so let's talk about the packaging so all of the Yachio brushes arrived in this very nice acetate packaging it's clear and we have the number eight card here which i'm sure will state all of the important things that you would need to know about the brushes or the number eight brand all right so this is number eight and if we just open the flap we can see that they actually have a number of brushes here that they actually sell and they even have this like um, push-up brushes that are also available and they I actually saw this at the festival and I was so intrigued by it but I just didn't have any use for it and I really love the labels here like the design it's actually like you know um, Hello Kitty so that's actually quite cute now the Yachio brushes they are individually wrapped in plastic like this and of course we have the Kumado Fudi seal here so we know that it's authentic now I'm only gonna open one because I'm giving away the rest oh it's actually um sealed quite nicely it doesn't have a flap because usually in other like kumano fude brushes they all have flaps here so i would need to open this with a scissor if i can find my scissor now i have discussed um this brush well extensively well not extensively but you know my entire yachio brush collection that i have currently um in a separate video i'm gonna put a link down on that on the description box so that you can check it out if you are very interested and this is 
Daigachiyo brush from number 8. And the distinct color of the string for number 8 Daigachiyo brushes is actually a black string that we see here. And I can still smell the... I think this is how... I, I'm not sure if it, this is the glue or if this is the lacquer that is actually like you know painted on it. It's still a little bit tacky so it's still newly minted and it's so and it's still quite fresh so um and think okay i'm gonna flip my camera over because i just want to compare this yachio brush to the yachio brush that i bought from them from the brush festival all right so i do apologize for the creases in my cloth here i didn't have time to iron it because i'm just so excited to make this video so what i have here is my new arrival this is my new yachio brush from number eight and this is my number eight Yachio brush that I bought at the brush festival. So eventually, the bristles here will bloom in a much more fuller way. But then again, this um, bristle here is not in full bloom because I actually keep my brushes in a brush guard. So this actually blooms a little bit more, like, you know, um, fluffier, um, especially if you don't keep it in a brush guard. But just for comparison, this is how it looks like. The brush heads are almost the same and they have a nice rounded brush head design and of course we still have the black strings here and we can still see how beautiful the lacquer glistens from the handles now the main difference between these two brushes is that it's the quality now I actually got this Yachio brush from number eight at the brush festival at a discount because it has this flaw on the handle here as you can see the gap like you know i've had this for two years now and i've been is it two years or three years i think three 19 20, 20, 20. yeah for three years and this brush has actually served me well look at that and i'm gonna put the other brush right beside it so that we can just see the difference you know not so much in terms of quality although we can see that the bamboo here that surrounds the entire handle is much more tighter and the width here on the base is actually much more even while the base here on the other side you can just see that there's just a minute bump here on the side that just like you know makes it a little bit um, askew but it's still not so bad and then as you can see, um, the handles here have already achieved a tarnish because of course of constant use. While this one is still very, very fresh. So that's the main difference between my Fudematsuri number 8 Yachio brush and my very new number 8 Yachio brush. So the number 8 Yachio brush actually retails for 2,200 yen. It comes in one design only and it's this like you know very traditional design of a Yachio brush because um, if you're a fan of Yachio brushes you'd know that Hakuhodo also makes some and they also have um, different types of Yachio brushes available that they sell. Now um, there's also one other company that makes it. I'm just not sure if it's from Hayakuzuke but I'm sure there are other people who are much more well versed than I in the world of Fude who can actually um, um, talk to you more about Yachio brushes. But um, as I said earlier, um, since I ordered this from Fude Japan, this was not actually shipped straight to me but it was actually shipped domestically first to Fude Japan and then Fude Japan actually forwarded my order to me. So um, that's one thing that you have to put into consideration when you are ordering brushes from Fude Japan because it's uh, it's not it's a it's a it's like an indirect retail of uh, brushes and even like makeup from Japan. So um, if you're very interested, please take a look at uh, Fude Japan if um, his service is actually something that um, you're okay with. So before I close out this video, if you want to know more about Yachio brushes, how I use them, how I take care of them, and if you also want to see other comparisons to other Yachio brushes from different brands, um, 
Again, as I've said earlier, I have a link down in the description box to my standalone video where I'm talking about Yachio brushes in detail. All right, so that's it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, please leave them down in the comments box and then let's have a conversation about it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here and I hope that you're having a good day wherever you are. Thank you so much. Food in Japan.